Hello all, Serious Lee is here. Welcome back to this old save, Catch Up. Today what we're going to catch up on is figuring out where we are and what we're doing. I just got back to the freighter, recalled my frigate mission that I sent out probably eight or nine months ago. It's just been waiting for the report this whole time. I got the Dream Aerial recipe unlocked, so I, I guess, I mean in theory, we could start by making that. The only thing I've done, like I said, is I spent about half an hour or so... Uh, on inventory management and I haven't got anything sorted out really I haven't put any of this stuff on uh, or gone through it except on the freighter on the freighter I've uh, got what would you call that split apart <laughs> from the rest of the pack these two which are blueprints which we could install actually wait a minute matter beam Mat okay we don't need that already got a matter beam uh, weird that we had one. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we have the fuel efficiency modules that got uninstalled when we ran out of space on both pages, so we'll have to put those back in. I also went and collected, well, not all of the storage augmentations, but all of the other ones we have. We need, I would say, nine of these, probably ten of these today. We'll keep one, and the rest, we don't need these. These ones we can just pay money for. We got a billion units. We can just pay money on our multi-tools. These, we have a lot more work to do. I am very surprised that I am missing these five slots. At least these five slots. I would have thought we were done as a character if we've spent 200 hours on the save already. Really weird. Like, we can just pay money for these going around station to station. No reason for us not to. So we don't need these either. We need these because... We want these nine slots open and probably an extra one as well. Now, I've already looked around. That's a super slot, that's a super slot, and that's our third one. So we're not going to get a fourth. The freighters only get three. Um, or do they get four? Either way, we need three together is what we want. And we don't have that. So we just need the space to move all of this tech back in. So let's start with that. We're right here by the bridge. Add additional storage, and we're going to want to go up here. That's not bad as a separated super slot there. We do get four. Good to know. Uh, and that means this side over here is going to be our um, fleet stuff, and this can be our drive stuff. So I'm going to put the extra slot, oh, right there. That's number 10, and we're going to back out, and we're not going to use that 11th, just so we have one more of those upgrades. Now let's get to work putting those things back in. Let's move the freighter stuff over here. Let's see, what do we got? With this here on the supercharged slot, the freighter drive itself, we've got 4,357. Let's see if we can do better. What, what happened? S classes around that, sure. And this guy here. And I feel like we might be missing one. Yeah, that one there. We need another antimatter housing. Can I make that? There we go. That is better. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay, we'll keep the matter beam in the corner. Let's move all of the stuff on super slots off of super slots. There we go. And we have some extra space here on one side or the other that is not going to be getting an adjacency bonus. That's that's a pain in the tuchus because this is not going to be as fuel efficient as I would like it to. Whoops, as I would like it to be. But we do have our fuel efficiency modules on here for 36% each. These two are getting good uh, adjacency bonuses. This one not so much. As you can see, our fleet coordination has gone down. It was at 55 the way it was arranged. I feel like the way you get the best coordination is having these all touching each other. 
whoops, in a row, regardless, whoops, <laughs> of the super slots. Yeah, so we're already at 52. And that's 55. So, all, oh, that's not all the combats. What's this? Exploration. Oh, hey, we are missing stuff. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, putting them beside each other is generally better for fleet coordination, which is going to affect our frigate's uh, stat abilities, but we want fuel to be efficient more than anything else, to be honest. So we're going to put stuff back in a weird roundabout way. And what we need is, we've got one, two, three speed ones. There's a third. One, two, three industrial. We have trade one two three we have combat one two so we need one more combat and two more exploration so we do need some of these things this here is combat we need one of those there we go and we need two more exploration there's one it's industrial that's exploration okay There we go, 56.8, not too bad, not too shabby. Fully upgraded freighter. We even have room for the interstellar scanner, which we definitely want. It is probably the best piece of tech from the newer updates that we don't have on this save yet. Okay, so the freighter is restored. We do not have full inventory space. I am not worried about inventory space. These are all garbage. These are all gonna be 250s. This is 250, oh. Oh, well, we have something to do on this save. That's exciting. Let's go see what these hyperdrives are. Maybe we have some 250s. Um, 248. Oh, we have to pack that up. We have to go get some 250s. That's great. Uh, I don't have that address handy, so we can't do that today. But that's good to know. We're taking stock today doing what repairs we can. So these are all garbage. We could sell them for a pit, piddly amount of nanites. We got 400,000. They're worth like, yeah, 16 nanites each. We're gonna toss those. Uh, this is for exploration. All of those are identical. Industrial, all of those are identical. We have the three. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, freighter is nice and taken care of, except for inventory slots, which is fine. We'll deal with that. These, yeah, it's nice to have fuel for launching on here in case we run out on our starship. Let's take a peek at the starship now. I haven't even looked at this one. I have not sorted any of this stuff out. Do we even have a weapon installed? We've got three upgrades for a weapon. Do we have a weapon? Uh, no. No weapon? Oh yeah, we've got the photon cannon. Okay, well, I don't really want the photon cannon. Can't uninstall it because we don't have the scatter blaster. The uh, positron ejector, that's what it's called. So we're looking for this icon without an S on it. There we go, positron ejector. Let's put that there. Can we uninstall that now? We can, good. I don't really like the Positron Ejector anymore, but we're gonna hang on to it because it's better than the uh, default uh, Photon Cannon. I don't think we have any upgrades for the Photon Cannon. Okay, do we need slots up here? They couldn't hurt, they couldn't hurt. So, let's fly over to whatever the local space station is and find a terminal for upgrading our ship today too. And heck, while we're there, we may as well buy a super, uh, not a super slot, a inventory slot for ourselves. Oh, and hey, would you look at that? Our mission log has updated. I'm not sure we're ready to tackle mission log updates just yet. We might get around to that today. We do have another at least 20 minutes to go if we want. Mostly today I was looking to get tackling the inventory and see what we need where. So I will write down, there's a pen, 
250 light year modules for the freighter. Okay, so that's on the checklist. Oh, uh, I meant to go to the space station, but you know, we can get an uh, inventory slot for ourselves while we're here, and something else we can do is get a whole bunch of uh, stuff unlocked that we never got. Collectible received. We are going to hear quite a bit. What might be nice is a purchase all available. <laughs> it wouldn't obviously buy ones that cost you stuff, just ones that were free. All right, we're already down to the already owned, which is a good sign. Excellent. All right, let's back out of there. Talk to this guy again. Let's see if there's any expedition rewards we can collect. Banner, may as well get a banner. There's the autophage parts. Decals. Another helmet. Lots of posters in here. Lots of stuff to get. We don't want the speeder. I'll take a banner. Sure, why not? Uh, that's an actual egg. I don't want that. I don't mind the one that we can build in our base, but I think that's just from Quicksilver. There's a helmet. The holograph. Oh, that was an egg. Darn, we picked up an egg. Oh well, we'll deal with it. We picked up two eggs. <laughs> freighter and freighter. Okay, let's go get our slot, go over to the space station. Oh, could we upgrade our ship here? No. That's a shame. I suppose while we're here, we can look for more, you know what, let's get that one. For more new blueprints that we didn't have before. Anything for sale in the multi-tool front? Yeah, Impact Igniter is new. That's new. I don't think we need Ricochet, but we'll take it. Paralysis Mortar is fantastic. We definitely want that. And to go along with that, we would like... The Voltaic Amplifier, where is that? There it is. Don't need the cloaking device. All right, yeah, that's all from that guy that we really need. Let's check, about, oops, check out exosuit upgrades. We've got a double refiner we can get. Right there. A trade rocket, I'm not too concerned about the trade rocket, don't need that. Uh, translators, don't need that. Okay, probably a lot of stuff in there. We're not gonna check that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough materials for that. Uh, starship upgrades, yeah, that's nice. And yeah, that's pretty cool actually. That helps a lot. I think that's the last two. Yeah, we have everything purchased there. Okay, cool. Let's head over to the space station, finally. And let's see, we've got six on us. Freighter, there's the rest. 30 should do, we don't need that many. We just want the tech slots for now. Where is Mr. Space Station? Not too far away. Nice short runway, that's helpful.
So while we're here, we also want to check the upgrade terminal here. We want to see uh, InfraKnife upgrades. We're going to upgrade to the InfraKnife on our ship. Our multi-tool, we are going to buy a new multi-tool. We're not going to use the slot. We're going to pay money. We have a billion units. We're going to spend. We're going to go under. Look, wow, wow, that dropped fast. Okay. We're going to get that. And. All right. That's about all we want for the moment. We didn't get our extra super slot, did we? We'll have to look into that in a sec. We're here for ships, to be honest. No, 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 not claim scrap. All right, apply augmentation. Get this row, and that should be all we need. Okay. Uh, well, hmm. Yeah, there's not that much to install on a ship. We don't really need to worry about that. Okay, let's back out of there. Let's look at the starship upgrades. And really, if I'm thinking about it, we should be going to pirate stations. We should skip these S-Class upgrades completely. And we should look into S-Class upgrades. Are there S-Class launch thrusters? I don't know. I'll buy that one. I can sell it for most of the cost back if I... turns out that we don't need it. Okay. So the Starship has its slots upgraded. Let's see what other stuff we can put in here. We have... Let's find out where our super slots even are. Oh, they were all right beside each other. Technology, supercharge, technology. Ooh, look at that. That's a pretty nice starship. Uh, and our fourth one is over here on the hyperdrive. Okay. So what I'm thinking is these are fairly nicely arranged how they are. Let's build that new thing we got, the flight assist. It's in there too now. Let's move. You know what? I want to save these three for the weapon slots, so we're going to move everything all around. All right, let's get launch thrusters out of there. And while we're doing this, we'll see if we have everything for everything. Looks like launch thrusters are good. Okay, that's a recharger. There we go. Yeah, three S class, a recharger, and the B class blueprint. Cool. Hyperdrive stuff's all over the place. Okay, so I want the pulse drive over there, and I would like where is that tech? There, that's the one. It's already in a slot. That's the one we're going to keep in a slot. Pulse drive power to keep our times and distances as good as we can get them. The rest, I don't, maneuverability is fine. Whatever, we'll do it. We're in a fighter. We should be fine. Uh, Okay, shields, those are going to get upgraded. It's probably best. Uh, economy scanner, I can go out of the way. Let's figure out the weapons now. Keeping our peak on our damage potential here. So 8,000 peak, 2,700 to shields. Let's put that there, and let's put these on the super slots and see what we get. 20,000 and 7,000. That's way better. Way better. Ooh, okay. How much do we lose by taking this off of here and putting that there? Uh, not too much. So we have 37,000 versus 35,000. I will take that. 
because this is going to give us 57% range and a much tighter field of fire, which is fantastic. Now what we want to do is get these off of super slots and see which is the best, because only one of these can go on a super slot. And would you look at that, they're all identical except this one, which has higher heat dispersion. So we're going to go with that for 35,000. Cool. Let's put some stuff back up here, how it makes sense. We're going to care most about hyperdrive, even though we're not going to be warping too much in this thing. Um, are there any hyperdrive upgrades we don't have yet? Uh, instability drive. Do we want that? I mean, it'll give us a bonus to range. That's, uh, that's about all it's good for. How many of those? One warps all. It said hi warp hypercore. That's why I was confused, because we have warp hypercores. I have no antimatter. There we go. So the hyperdrive itself is here. Hmm. We can't really put that in the middle anywhere unless we buy a lot more slots. Let's see. Let's put it there. Let's get the S classes around it. We need X classes for this anyway. It's still only that's that's less than it was. <laughs> Whatever we did. We made it worse. Or was I looking at maneuverability before? I was looking at maneuverability before. Never mind. That didn't help much, connecting the actual pulse drive to that. Uh, got an idea. Let's get shields out of here. They're, they, shields are a very small subsystem. No, that's worse. That's the same either way. Why is that so much worse? Yeah, that's a lot worse. All right, well, back where you were. That's fine then. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we move, say, shields right here. Yeah. Oh, and we're missing a shield module too. That's probably down here somewhere. Let's look for that real quick before we build one. Uh, it should look like this, but it shouldn't have an S class on it. Maybe we don't have one. There it is. Blade of armor. Put that there. We'll move the launch thrusters over to the side. Then we have a nice 3x3 three three to play with for the hyperdrive. Let's give that a try. We're at 800 and something or other. I think that's a bit higher, not significantly. I could play around a little bit more and we could install the instability. Oh no, we did that already, okay. And as for launch thrusters, mm, no, we can get a nine by, a three by three. There we go. Scanner, we just bought this. We need, oh, we need to go to a pirate system for that. Okay, we'll put that on the list of things we gotta do as well. So we need 250 light year, we need pirate. We need X-Class, yeah, yeah, X-Class. I'll put that on the list. Counterfeit circuits are on the list, okay. But what else are we missing? There's a scanner tech that we're missing. Conflict scanner, there we go. Thank you. Teleport receiver, we don't have one of those installed. Okay, that's important, put that back in. 
Oh, we already had an emergency warp. Yeah, we've got <laughs> deleted. Whoops, we should have checked. Sublight amplifier. We had one of those already too. Whoops. that. Okay. Not too shabby. We've got the freighter and the ship sorted out. These are all junk, are they? Oh, golden starship trail. We may as well put that back in. We can go wherever it wants. Yeah. Now we could install these to find out which is the best. Maybe we've got a better one. And we could do the same with the pulse drive upgrades, to be honest. We should do that before we go. Heat dispersion set a 10 on this one. That's better. And these were all 2 and 7 for fire rate and damage, right? Yeah, okay. But if we take this, this one off, that's just an 8, right? Yeah. Put you there. We'll keep you. You're an eight, but we will pack you guys up. Okay, and for pulse drives, we have 18% maneuverability, 17%, and 17%. Those are low. We need X class modules. Lickety split. Let's see what we got here. Whoops, that's launch thrusters. Launch thruster. Launch thruster. There's pulse drive, right? And that's our only two. No, oh, there we go. So we're looking for 20s. Do we have any 20s? There's 18, 17, 18. We got two 18s over here. So that can go. That's an 18. Oh, 24% boost, though. And fuel efficiency. That's pretty high. Maybe there's bigger ranges on these things than I thought. But maneuverability is what we really want. What we really, really want. There we go. Maneuverability, 971. We'll get better when we get X-Class stuff, but that'll be coming up next time. Uh, oh, we have to look at our exosuit too. We forgot to buy our super slot. It keeps calling it a super slot. Just a regular slot. <laughs> we need to buy a tech slot for our super suit. No, exosuit. Come on, brain. You'll figure this stuff out. All right. So what I'm going to do between episodes is sell off all of those gray atoms that we built up. And I'm going to go around to a bunch of space stations that we've been to using the teleporter over there. I'm going to get the rest of my exosuit slots by buying them in space stations because why don't I have them already? That's really annoying. I definitely should. And we are going to find a pirate system to go get X-Class modules in. And after that, then we can go back to our settlement to deal with... Okay, unpin the formula. Oh, that's awesome. It is a trace of metal that's been blurring at me about the extreme sentinel assault this whole time. Every time we see it pop up, it's a trace. That's perfect. A trace of metal is what we need to complete to get into autophage stuff. This save is going along swimmingly for upgrades. This has been very quick. I do want to do some other stuff that isn't necessarily necessary, like, uh, like we were saying at the beginning. This isn't the best raider. I like the design. Very nice design, and I found it myself, so it's impressive to me. But the super slot layout leaves a lot to be desired, so I would like to go find a better freighter for this save. Uh, I'd like to get everything fully kitted out. But yeah, if we can hop into autophage missions right away, that would be fantastic. So, okay, pirate system for X-Class modules, then a trace of metal, and then we'll see where we go from there. But that's it for today, everybody. Till next time, have a good time.